Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Dirt's Backyard Garage. Today, we're going to be getting this beetle running properly and replacing the master cylinder on the front of the car that is busted. So if you guys want to fast forward to any part, particular part you're looking for an instructional video, timestamps are in the description. Let's get started. So beetles have four plugs, which I'm sure you know if you're working on one. Here, here, just two on each side. So they are the probably the hardest plugs that I have ever replaced on a vehicle just because they're such a pain to reach. I'll go ahead and set up a time lapse of me replacing those. You just got to pull the wires off and then I used a, I think it was some weird size wrench like a 1316s here. Let's see. Yeah, 1316s plug wrench to get those guys in. Got four new plugs for it, so let's replace those first. One more thing real yeah. quick is the top of these spark yeah. plugs need to be unscrewed I, I took it up to, uh, in order for them to Utah. fit on the wires for a beetle. Trip up to Utah this week. So what we ended up doing was only replacing the one that was really fouled in the back because there's these rubber gaskets over the spark plugs that are impossible to get off without dropping the motor. So when we do end up dropping the motor to put the highway flyer transmission in it, I will show you guys a video on how to replace the other plugs. These are just the worst cars to work on ever. Everything's impossible to reach, but parts are very cheap, which is good. So let's, let's go ahead and start it up for you. Yeah, go for it. sounds mean it has a Porsche exhaust on it. It runs great. Alright guys, so the first thing for the master cylinder here is you got to remove the gas tank. There's normally f two bolts on the top here with little brackets and two on the bottom. One, two here. Mine only had two on it, but not, not a big deal. So you also have to disconnect the sending unit for the gas tank in order to, you know, get the gas tank out. It's just underneath right in here. And for some reason, I, I just replaced it. For some reason, it's already broken again so I'll go ahead and get that out you have to disconnect all the brake lines there and then there are two bolts on the inside of the floor next to the behind the brake pedal that you need to disconnect you also are going to want to take off that sending unit for the brake lights because the new ones do not come with one of those on So like I was saying, there's two bolts down underneath the brake pedal. I don't know if you guys can see that right back in there. And those are, that's what holds on the uh, brake booster to the car. So you gotta take those off. You have to disconnect all the lines with, with a line wrench. Make sure you use a line wrench, otherwise it'll strip out. And that won't be fun for anyone when you have to cut a line and replace it. Alright, we got this guy out. It should just pull right out of there. There's one more line hooked in. Okay, there we go. Just pull right out of there. It's full of brake fluid, so it's going everywhere. But that's the brake booster. Let me show you what I did for the gasket on this thing because you can't find right on top here, there's this gasket that's supposed to go in there, but I can't find one anywhere. So I'll show you what I did last time that worked really well until the brake booster failed. So what I did is I took some piping, two different sizes just like this. And then what I did is I did this. So I cut it to size inside of there, stuck this one inside of it. That's the same size as the brake line. So I can't really do this with the camera, but it looks like this kind of when they're together. And then I got 
this in return, which is like a makeshift, ga makeshift gasket. You just gotta make sure you push it all the way in there so it's good. There's a lip in there that will make sure brake fluid is flowing into the brake booster so you won't lose brake at all. But that's what I did, pretty simple setup, really cheap. They just gave it to me for free at the auto parts store because I don't know what it's called. If you do know, let me know in the comments so I can buy one. I would love to get my hands on an actual gasket. Let's go ahead and put this back on the car. Let me see if I'm able to get this back in the car while holding a camera. These brake lines kind of make it difficult, but I should be able to do it. Okay. There we go. That should be good. I'm going to go ahead and get those bolts back on there. All right, now we need to bleed the brakes. Old man Paul's going to help me with this one because I can't do it by myself. <laughs> This takes absolutely forever as well, just so you know, because there's, I don't know, it's just a small little hydraulic cylinder. All right, guys, that was the brake booster and spark plug repair on the 64 Beetle. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff. We'll see you next time back here at the garage.